do you feel more weight now, General Silveria? Going back to your alma mater mm -hmm. on your shoulders. So uh, the cadets asked me when I first got there, they said, you know, sir, what's changed? From the <laughs> 80s to now, what's changed? And I thought about it at the time, and there's a few things that I could, I could mention, but then I remembered that one of the things that hasn't changed mm -hmm. is that when you're a cadet, and anyone who's been in Colorado Springs, it's a beautiful setting. We have 18,000 acres uh, up against the, the front range of the, of the Rockies. And uh, uh, you, you drive from the north, usually from Denver, and you come over a hill. And as you turn onto the academy, the buildings come into view because they're elevated uh, in the, where the cadets are, the cadet area. The buildings come into view. As a cadet, when you see that when you're returning, your stomach turns, you know, there's anxiety, I have to go back, you know, what have I not done? Am I late? What am I missing? Well, there I was, you know, showing back up, you know, 54 years old, and I saw the buildings in my stomach still, you know, I still had the butterflies. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's such a special place, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's special because of the young men and women. They're, they are unbelievably, they, you should be so proud of your academy, but you should be so proud of these young men and women that have committed to serve their country. And they're, they're so sophisticated, the breadth and depth of these young women, amazing.